The Bible says, nothing died before Adam sinned. Man brought death into the world. And guys like Hugh Ross will say, well, hey, didn't Adam eat plants? Don't plants die? Well, that assumes plants are alive. Okay? Look at Genesis chapter 1, verse 11. God said, let the earth bring forth the grass, the herb, the fruit trees. And so the earth brought forth grass, herbs, and trees on the third day. Plants are made on day three, sun made on day four, verse 14. Are the plants alive? Verse 20, and the moving creature that hath life was created on the fifth day. Well, wait a minute, he just told us on the third day he made the grass plants trees and he made the moving creature that hath life on the fifth day. Is that implying that the plants don't have life? If the things that have life are made on day five, then maybe the plants don't have life in the biblical sense. Living creatures made on day five. Genesis 1.24, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. Living creatures made on days five and day six, apparently. Genesis 1.29, God said, I've given you every herb bearing seed, every beast of the earth shall eat the green herbs. He says, everything wherein there is life, I've given green herbs. It looks to me like there's a distinction here. Things that are green and herbs and vegetables don't have life because the living things are supposed to eat them. All right? Cain brought the fruit of the ground. Abel brought the firstlings of his flock. And God did not respect the fruit of the ground. It doesn't have life. You can't get blood out of a turnip, is the expression. It's got to have life, got to have life and blood and death to please God. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Genesis 6, God said, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. Every living thing of all flesh shalt thou take, come into the ark, the fowls, the critters, etc., and take unto thee of all food that is eaten. Again, is there a distinction here? Living things get in the ark and the food, which would obviously be the plants. I think there's a distinction. Okay? The beasts, the cattle, the creeping things, the fowls, wherein is the breath of life. The Bible talks about the breath of life in the animals. All flesh is not the same flesh. There's one of men, one of beasts, another of birds, different kinds of flesh. He says in Genesis 9, Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb. In Genesis 9, he says, Now you can eat things that live and move, whereas before you could eat the green herbs. Again, I see a distinction. Living plants are not alive in the biblical sense. The life of the flesh is in the blood, Leviticus tells us. The life of the flesh is the blood thereof. He says in Leviticus 17, You shall not eat that which dieth of itself. Well, if you can't eat that which dieth of itself, don't we wait and eat the fruit and nuts and stuff after they fall off the tree? Would that be a violation? If they're alive, then they died and fell off the tree and you ate it. You'd have a problem. As soon as you pick it off, you'd have to actually eat them on the tree. Climb up the tree and try to eat the apple without breaking it loose. You know? if you, otherwise, you'd violate this scripture. <clears throat> the Bible talks about the tree of life, which bear 12 manner of fruits. The fruits can give you life, but the fruit itself, I don't think, is alive. The Bible says leaves fade, they wither, they fade. Over and over in the Bible, it says they wither, they wither, they fade. It doesn't ever say they die. The reeds and flags shall wither. Isaiah 19, the reeds shall wither. Isaiah 40, they shall wither. Okay? All through the Bible, you see the leaves wither and they fade. They are not alive because they don't have breath, they don't have blood, they don't have a soul. They're not alive. A car can die, but it's not alive. It's, the word die is just a word we use. A computer can die. There's this blue screen of death. Pavel, you get that once in a while. This computer died, okay? Oh no, now what do I do, right? The wind can die down, a dream can die, but none of those things are alive. It's just an expression. A plant is a complex, self-replicating food source. It has no blood, no breath, no soul. They are not alive in the biblical sense. So when Adam ate the fruit in the garden, he was not killing anything. Adam brought death into the world, and, but death did not include plant life.